Hello explorers and welcome to another video. This is an update of day 21. And we had some problems to calculate all the die and where they went and so on. Uh, but I got a suggestion from Simon B, which was really nice. His initial approach was to create a universe where you had all the different options and going uh, in a recursive way through with a function and that was too slow. So he calculated how many, uh, how many of each of the different solutions were. So if you had, for instance, three, that would happen once because you can draw, throw the dice one, 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 which is three and so on. So you, you figured out how many different solutions there were for each die value that could be added up. And then he did a recursive function over that. And I think I've understood what he meant. So I th thought I will in, uh, uh, <laughs> create this myself and see if I get the right result. So I have done a lot of small bugs in this code here, but let's just go through it. First off, I will call my two universes here with a starting position of four and eight or eight and four. So I do both, both if I were the player uh, which started on position eight and the player that started on position four. But four was the in the uh, uh, current calculation, the starting position for, for this um, player one here. Player one had starting position four and player uh, two had starting position eight. So I did that and uh, when we have this, we will count the universes. So we'll start at four and eight. We will start with no number. So I don't have any die roll at the moment and then no points at the moment either. And I also set if this is my turn or not. And then in the next I set if it's my turn or not. And then I will do true and false. And I have done the same for the real example here, eight and nine and nine and eight. Um, so how do we count the universes? Well, we start with the sum of zero universes. And then I will see if this is the first run. run. So if I run it from down here, this will always be false. Uh, or always be true because this is the first run and I have other ones that recursively do this which all of them have false. So if this is the first run, if this is not the first run, I will check if it's my turn. I will add the current number, so the number, die roll number, and then I will modulus with 10 so I know my position. I will calculate the points and then I see if the point is over 21, uh, then I will return one because then I have one. So now, now I need to calculate how many universes I has, have, but this universe is one that I won in, that's one of them at least. And, and then we do the same for uh, position two, but the difference here is that I will set zero. So the player two one will not be the winner. So I return zero here, uh, zero universes. And then I, I do the same up here and uh, then I will change whose turn it is. And down here, it's really interesting. Uh, I had this bug for a long while and didn't figure it out, but I need to, of course, take the starting position and remove one because I'm going from zero to nine and not from one to 10 in my rotations. So I had to do that. And then the only thing I need to do here is to call the, all the universes with the number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And they will in turn happen some amount of the time. So if you roll a die and you check all the, the, the possibilities that you have. So for three, you can have that once. If you roll one, 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 and nine, you can only have once. And that's when you're rolling three, three, three. And then you have the distribution here, three, six, seven, six, three, one again. So that is what I ran. And after that, I got a result. And in terminal, not the terminal, in the run result here, we see that player one got four, four, four at the beginning and 315 at the end. 
which were the right result here. And I also verified that the player two result was right. So I guess that this will be player one result for this challenge. So let's put that in and see what we get. The answer here is 346 billion or something like that. Submit it. Yes, you get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. So uh, thank you so much to Sam, Sammy B, uh, uh, Simon B, uh, for your suggestion. It worked like a charm. So the only one I have left now is the B chapter of 19. I need to do, take another stab at that. I, I got the solution, the suggestion that you should be able to group the results here and figure things out but i'm not really sure um what is going wrong with with my calculation here that it's a really weird one but we have two days left as well uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe so you don't miss the last two days if you like this video give it a like share it with your friends and colleagues if you um have any comments or suggestions leave them down in the comment section down below and i really hope to see you in the next video